ain't nothing wrong with being a girly boy, all right? Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with being a little feminine, okay? <laughs> you see, you see, I was raised by my mom and my sister, right? So I feel like I feel like I adopted a lot of feminine behavior, and niggas would cook me up all the time. Any chance they could get. Ha ha, you stand like a girl. Ha ha, you sit like a girl. First of all, okay? First of all, sitting like this helps conserve body heat, you dumbass bitch. All right? Secondly, I see you over there. I see you over there. You cold as fuck trembling, trying so hard to look masculine. Look, just cross them legs, bro. I ain't gonna judge you. A nigga was traumatized, like. A nigga was traumatized for real, bro. You, you did something even remotely feminine and, and niggas would think that you were gay or something like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, time out! What's wrong with being gay? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But you gotta understand, this is the early 2000s. Early 2010s, right? So, um, yeah, that's that. And also, you know, Twitter's, Twitter's omnipresent. Uh, their, their omnipresent social media influence. That shit hadn't picked up yet. Also, this was the hood. Okay, this is the hood, so it's 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 not that regular toxic masculinity. All right, it's that potent strand, my nigga. Somebody suspecting you were gay was somehow was somehow worse than someone finding out you were like a a direct descendant of Hitler's or something like that. Right, so I I had to be super wary. I had to be super conscious of myself. Oh no, I, I can't do this or else someone's gonna think I'm gay. Oh no, nowadays. I don't give a fuck. Like, I, I honestly don't give a fuck what people think. Like, I literally just, like, I think it was like a week, a week and a half ago. I just went and I got a manicure done. I got a manicure done. You damn right. The, them Asian niggas really hooked me up. My fingernails looking mighty kempt. They look, they looking mighty kempt about now, bro. Just bought myself a notepad. You should see it. That, that shit pretty as a motherfucker, bro. That shit pretty as a motherfucker. And, um, I'm writing down all my video ideas in it now. And guess what? Who gonna check me on it, huh? Who gonna check me on it? You see, back in the day, back in the day, niggas could push me around. I was a, I was a little scrawny ass nigga, bro. A little scrawny ass nigga. Nowadays, niggas been working out. Niggas been working out. Niggas been getting taller than taller than Paul Bunyan's dick. All right. Yes. So who gonna check me on it, huh? That's right. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody gonna check me on it, nigga. Might get my nails painted and then go fuck somebody's bitch. <laughs> might might listen to some Claro on the way there. <laughs> might I might um I might cop a handbag on the way there, you know? Yeah, my my might cop a handbag on the way there. What, what what that pretty nigga Rocky say? What that nigga say again? This ain't a purse, it's a satchel. This ain't a purse, it's a satchel. <laughs> Oh, God.